I listened to Miley Cyrus interview Demi Lovato on YouTube today, and I was just completely blown away by how resilient this girl is because, um, I feel like a lot of things in life are about the way that you look at it. And I mean, it's, it's, un, it, you don't even think about how, um, overdosing on drugs can lead you to inspire so many people, um, that already follow you so closely because she is that good at music. I mean, who's got a voice like Demi Lovato? <laughs> it's like, uh, Kelly Clarkson. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, so, uh, like, but you don't think about how like overdosing on drugs is such a human thing to have happen to you because it could happen to just about anyone, but especially people that have certain tendencies towards addiction. But, um, the fact that she, she's battled it that well is like, incredibly inspirational and watching her today that's that's what struck me was like dude this girl is like i had no idea she had such a good personality um but also like like what she said about um like her, her fans being inspired by her like it, it like i hadn't I, I didn't even think about how you can have something that bad happen to you and you can turn it into inspiration and and it was just it, it was I, I was impressed by her but um what I was also thinking about is what would I would tell is what, what would I tell someone like Demi Lovato right now that is going, dude, you just said this is going to be a year. Um, you said that, um, like this is going to hurt businesses that bad. Um, Donald Trump's in charge and I don't really trust him. And, um, like I, I, I feel like, I, I feel like, um, I'm scared. And what I would tell her is, Dude, it's going to be okay. And it really will. Like it, it like life, you, you have like really bad periods for certain times and then it ends and things get better. And, um, let's be honest. If we all have to kind of hide from each other, we're not going to have the best year. Um, but the great thing about the internet is like, this is the, the one blessing of social media is that we get to still interact. Um, but, um, I feel like I've lost touch with everyone over social media because I'm afraid to talk to him now because of all the crap that's happened to me. Um, anyways, so um, all I'm saying is it is going to be okay. And like, even if a lot of people die, that death rate is, 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 is shockingly low. And um, I, that's, that's, that's the only reason I think it's not us. If it was us, it would have been like way higher death rate. That's why I think it's someone that might have been inspired by me. But so no matter what, do I feel like this is my fault? Um, I, I feel like the way I am, I am a demagogue. I, I, I don't even realize how much of a leader I am. I'm like, okay, you're the leader. I, 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 will, I will be the leader. I, it's just my, my personality. And I have to figure out how to not be that guy sometimes. Because uh, I'm, 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 I'm the wrong leader sometimes. That's for sure. I, I don't always make the best decisions, but that's my failures are, are the reason that I would be a good president because all I do is fail. And if I fail that much, then I really listen well. Like I, I really try to pay attention, especially when my decisions are significant and, um, defending this economy is significant. And I feel like I do have a lot of people that follow me and like me and, and they want to defend this economy too, but they also don't want to lose all their money. And that's why it's like, I really hope there are enough people that are that are ready to get behind this idea. Like I know, I know Jim Cramer got behind the idea so heavy. He's like, "You'd be crazy not to buy before the biggest drop in history." But why would the biggest drop in history happen? Because there were that many shorts, and then people wanted to get rid of those shorts. And and when and 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 when there's that much selling, um, it, but but then like right now there's the seesaw thing. But it's because some people really want the volatility, like I said. But no matter what. Like the United States especially is in a great position. I feel like the countries that are really going to struggle are in Africa more than anywhere. Like if you look at what they're doing in Asia, they're throwing people in the back of vans. Like they're spying, like the Chinese spy on everyone. Like a lot of Asian countries have the resources to have cameras everywhere. They are crazy with their spying. The American government is way, way less crazy with their spying. Um, there it's like in institutionalized spying. The American government's like, we're trying to break the law, but it's still like, 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 like they, they, they have to be secret secretive about it. But in other countries, it's like, we don't have to worry about the law. So like, they have to like, 
when, when you have to be secretive about spying, you can't spy as much. And we, but we can spy a lot. I'm pretty sure the American government is spying on people a lot um, over this virus thing because it is about like it is about containment. Um, but if you if you can't if you don't have a test that's only if your if your test only finds it 50 percent of the time, how can you contain it? If people aren't showing symptoms, how can how can you contain it? And that's why I said it's gonna be a year, and like, but that's why it's so cool that Miley is doing a mental like. No matter what, if she turns out some, to be someone I don't know, it's so cool that she's doing a mental health segment. And like, you don't think about how hard it is to get up in front of a crowd and to face that much criticism and to have everything you do sc get scrutinized. And like, that is someone that has done the mental health battle it's the same thing with Demi Lovato like you want to talk about someone that has battled mental health it's her like you want to talk about someone that's battled mental health it's me because I've embarrassed myself so much like she's like on, on, on the bright show she's talking about like finding happy anchors the problem is all my happy anchors are connected to bad things almost always because of like because of the how I turn the past into something bad but it's not just me it's because the past was bad but um, but I still like, that's why mental health for me is about not thinking about myself, not thinking about the bad things, not thinking about those ants, those bad thoughts that will overwhelm you. Instead, what you do is you think about, um, anything. Like if, if it's, if it's that bad, sometimes I'll like, when I, when I'm at, at having a rough enough time, what did I do when I was like going through, everyone's got a boyfriend. I watch TV all the time and you know what? It worked out for me because I was so distracted. Um, now I'm distracted on trying to figure out this paint thing. and But I'm also trying to figure out how we're going to um, keep this society functional and not completely ruin ourselves and not get ruined by all these short sellers and not have all, all these people from other countries short our market and then take all that money and then use it to protect their economy because I my economy is in trouble right now and I don't want to help their economy. Like, But I... But I I do want to help their economy if I can, but I've got to make sure that my economy is fine. And so like, that's why I'm, I, I think it's so important for us to battle short sellers. And that's why my mental health right now is about like, what are we going to do about the economy? Like making sure Donald Trump knows, dude, you're about to turn into the craziest socialist of all time. If you want to, if you want to get through this and yeah, it, it like, it might go against some of your principles where it's like, it's all about business, but no, it's about taking care of your country right now. And, um, and, and so I, I think he, I think he's going to do that.